morning everybody happy friday morning and welcome to video one this video is uh oh my goodness it's gonna cover two things going on in the uk that harry and megan were not invited to i'm thinking because of megan's predisposition to overshadow everything so let's jump in and cover it shall we let's go it's coming out that harry and megan have not been invited to trooping the color for the second year in a row. Remember, they were invited one year, but were told they would not be on the balcony, and so they decided not to participate at all. You know, when I read stories like this, I sit back and think, you know, I hate to point this out, but Harry has called the entire family, including Camilla, especially Camilla, a racist. He's slammed his father at every turn. He has broken trust by repeating private conversations. While he's claiming that the royal family is leaking and planning, he put private text messages into one of his books. So I just don't understand why anybody would be shocked that they would not be invited to come and mark King Charles's birthday. Now, before anybody goes nuts, though, let me remind you that they attended Trooping the Cother in 2018, one month after their wedding, and then they appeared one more time on the balcony in 2019, right after they had Archie, supposedly. Now, in 2020 and 2021, the event was completely scaled down due to the corona pandemic. It was held at Windsor Castle, and they didn't have the large family member gathering that they usually do. But the ceremony was brought back in 2022 to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. You guys remember that. And Harry and Meghan flew all the way to the UK to attend the event, but didn't go on the balcony and instead stayed in a room above the Horse Guards Parade because, well, they didn't feel safe, remember? They did not bring their children to any of the events. Their children were not allowed to participate. And this is supposedly, allegedly, when Megan allowed Lily to take a picture with the queen that supposedly remains in the uh, palace's hands because the queen was smart enough to know that they would abuse the privilege. Correct. Now, remember, Harry was recently in the UK. His father offered him a royal residence. He turned it down. His father wanted to see him. He turned it down. So this whole victim narrative doesn't work. But here's what happened when they went to the last Trooping the Color. This was supposedly right after Archie was born. Mm -hmm. Watch this. And just as an FYI, I zoom in after the first viewing so you can definitely see who's in the carriage. Here you go. <laughs> Maybe that's another reason why they're not coming. Maybe they know that if they rode in the royal carriages, they would be booed. <laughs> but the truth is they are no longer senior working royals. They have left and they have slammed the family at every turn. Nobody really wants to see them. They are so disliked in the UK. Remember, Harry and Meghan just hired a UK PR person because they're trying to you know, get people in the UK to like them. Unfortunately, as long as you continue to put out fake narratives that I wasn't given a royal residence and my dad won't see me because he's super busy and then come to find out you had that opportunity, paying for PR people to help you in the UK is not going to help you. The two of them want to continue to push this victim narrative. People are so over them, like seriously. I, I just, yeah, no wonder they're not going to Trooping the Color. And why would the king want them there after all the horrible things Harry said? All right, let's move on. Another thing they're being left out of is the guest list for the nuptials of Hugh Grovesner, who is the Duke of Westminster, and Olivia Henson. Now, we know that Grovesner, when he grew up, was friends with Harry and Meghan. Let's be honest. First of all, he's one of Britain's richest men. He's worth, like, billions, okay? And he's godparent to William and Catherine's son, Prince George. He made the decision not to invite Harry and Meghan because he doesn't want royal family drama between William and Harry at this wedding. Now, we know that he is the godson of King Charles. His mother is godmother to Prince William. He, by the way, is also one of Archie's godparents, supposedly, but since Harry and Meghan didn't release who the godparents were, we don't even know if that's true. 
Back in 2004, William and Harry were ushers when Mr. Grosvenor's sister was married. Now, they're saying that it's very sad it's come to this because Hugh is one of the close friends of William and Harry who apparently still has a line of communication with both. But let's be honest, if Harry and Meghan show up, the entire day is going to be overshadowed for the bride. What bride wants to be overshadowed on her wedding day? Meghan already did it to Princess Eugenie at her wedding by telling everybody she was pregnant. So it's a well-known fact that he was not invited, but Harry can't swallow that. So of course, People Magazine, his now go-to rag, is putting out stories that Harry pulled out of the wedding of the year because there would be challenges at his attendance. Uh Uh-huh. He was not invited, you guys. And quote-unquote unknown source said that the understanding is he won't go to the wedding because it would be awkward. I thought Harry and Meghan said that anything they had to say would come directly from a representative of Archwell or from one of them. So that just tells you that they're doing planting of stories again because Harry can't stand the embarrassment that he's been left out. Do you really think for one second, does anybody truly believe for one second that Meghan Markle would miss the society event of the year in the UK to show that she and Harry still have friends there, that they're still in favor with some people. Give me a break. Let's be honest, you guys. In every picture of Harry and Meghan since they've been married, she looks happy. He looks absolutely miserable. Maybe they're afraid if they invite Harry and Meghan that their wedding will somehow be jinxed. (laughs) That he'll end up like her, you know, like Harry. Oh my God. So let's be honest, you guys. We know that Harry and Meghan have put out misinformation. The champions of misinformation have put out on their own misinformation. We are aware of this. A judge even admonished admonished Harry in legal documents for putting out misinformation. So Harry and Meghan are so embarrassed that they're not invited to this society wedding that they're putting out misinformation saying that they were invited, but they're going to do the honorable thing and not show up. Give me a break. I think we all know better at this point. Just a quick FYI, I have been told that if your like button is missing, you can still hover over the area where it should be and click it and it will still register. So make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't done that and follow me over to video number two. Let's go. (laughs) 